Good morning, it's day two of our journey in the footsteps of Andy Hands, the British Special Operations Executive Officer who was in Albania in 1943 and 1944. We've overnight id in uh, Voshka and now we're going to head off into the Mokra region, which is usually kind of difficult. So the story is, Booby snuck in during the night, so they say there's a dog tax of 3,000 lek. So we've said we'll pay the 3,000 lek if we get a VAT receipt. So the half-wit has locked the gates, which we can still smash through. We've made it to Pogradets, which is, in all honesty, a dreadful place that we wouldn't normally find ourselves in, but we stopped for coffees with a very nice guy who knows the region we're about to head into. I should say a little altercation this morning with the hotel owner was because last night when we went to the hotel he said it was absolutely fine for the dog then he said actually the dog would have to stay in the yard which is okay but then just before going to bed he said the dog would have to be in the in the back in the sort of shitty area tied up which would just mean he would bark all night so Henry snuck him into the room hence the dog tax that we were asked to pay uh, which in the end we paid half of it 1500 lek uh, because they weren't able to give a receipt and only the sort of mild threat of violence. We've just come up a road that qualifies as difficult. This is actually pretty easy compared to what we've just done. And very luckily, we've arrived just as the village is improving the road for summer because there's no point in doing this um, when the rains are still around. So we've given the nice man some cigarettes and some jal, the yogurt to drink, and he's gonna cut our way through for us. So everybody, how was the road up? Interesting, challenging. Yes. Smooth. Smooth. <laughs> only in lie. Albania you can say smooth. Yeah. yeah, only in Albania. It's been a tough road, but we're now above the monastery at Leng. But driving on might be a stretch too far. So we're going to take a look at the view, have some burek, and then walk down, I guess. So, because it's Albania, they've built a hydro down there for no, no discernible reason apart from corruption at the World Bank and locally. And then there's the monastery above it. Well, we're here at the monastery, or at least I am. There is one monk, some young guys who have come to camp here since so the weekend. And the other guys are on their way down at a rather more sedate pace than me. The duck here is waiting by the by the fridge. I have a little bit of a feeling that the duck is going to be on the menu later. Booby, leave the duck alone. So our priest tells us there's been a monastery here for 500 years or more. The communists turned it into an army base when they made religion illegal and he moved in on the 6th of June 1991 has been here ever since so 28 years yesterday oh, Booby thinks he's allowed in the monastery we're being shown the facilities, he's very keen to get visitors to come and stay here. So now we're going up to the unrestored part of the monastery where the British stayed during the war. So the fascist yeah. occupation in Pogradets. Pogradets. Yeah. So those are the Italians. Yeah. Well, we're in the English room and we found an old webbing belt. But I don't know if it's Albanian army or British. Henry got lost here for how many days? Three. 
three days in these mountains. We camped up there, in that big rock in the field. So he is very happy that uh, you came here, and for him you gave a kind of an answer what all this rumor and story was about the rumor and about the place. Thank you very much. We're back at the car, we've just met this nice guy Benny, who's on top of the mountain with his sheep and chopping wood and stuff like that. So Benny has the inside story on the hydros. The village of Lang, which is down there, and where the guy is from, has done a petition. All the village, they are all united, apart from the guys down there. And they have done a petition against the hydros. There are two above the village, two down here. They want to build another one in the village. And there are the Bishnitsa, Propish, and in total there are nine in the same source, which is a disaster. And how is it affecting the village? It's ruining the beauty, the water, everything. And there the... is no more fish in the, in the river. So they used it to have to be fish, yeah. trout? Yeah, yeah trout. Wild trout. No, all gone. Sad. Okay, we've made... Whoa! We've made two very fierce friends. You can see they've got the anti-wolf collars on. <laughs> and Booby doesn't quite realise that you can't... If he gets involved in a fight here, it's not a battle he can win. But they're very nice dogs, actually. Booby! <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologise on Booby's behalf. Booby! We've just stopped to enjoy the nature as we make our way on. Our friendly priest tells us this is a branch of the Via Ignatia, the road that linked Rome to Constantinople. And this headed off the main route to Thess uh, sorry, to the Bosch Coming to the end of a very long day, um, we're in Lynn, which is a village on Lake Orid, um, at our favourite guest house. So this is Libby's room. Very nice. And then, it looks like the party's going to be here tonight. And this is the balcony. We're here. We're, uh, this isn't our room. Oh my god. This is Libby's, Libby's room. Yeah. You're, you're down below. Yeah, we're, we're, we're in the cell. I haven't been here. Yeah, it's yeah. They, they live here during winter. Oh, do they? Get used to it. You're fantastic. Oh my god. And after all these days, it's supposed to be. So, a big day. A huge day. <laughs> Well, when you think, we started off the day we'd been held ransom for a non-existent tax on the dog, and finally after an hour's negotiations, which clearly took, you know, quite a lot of perseverance on behalf of Henry, we managed to be freed, and then we spent hours of incredible driving with incredible scenery in the most arduous conditions imaginable, to get to the monastery, which was stunning. Uh, you know, it's been, as every day is, and every day seems to be, it gets more and more mind-blowing. Unbelievable. We've had a fantastic evening at Rose's. And now we're discovering the frogs, which are enormous and everywhere. <laughs> 